Morning everybody, staying here from Rocky Creek. I have pulled out the Troy Belt Pony Tiller and we're gonna try to get this garden tilled today. I'm not sure if it's dry enough, but I really wanna to try to get this done because I would have liked to have had this done about two weeks ago. So I'm behind, so I'm gonna to have to try to make do. But I haven't started this thing up since last year, so hopefully it'll be good to go. So the tiller I'm running is a Troy Belt Pony model. It's a rear tine tiller and I actually inherited this one from my wife's grandfather who unfortunately passed away just this past year and he was a huge help to me and, and a great inspiration on some things we'd have conversations about gardening and raising animals and he was he was a lot of influence on what i've been able to do so you know being able to use this thing is almost in memory of him and so that's kind of an awesome thing but my garden is pretty far away from the house it's probably about 150 yards or so from the house so I'm gonna do a cold start here, make sure everything's firing up good, and then we'll take it down to the garden and go from there if everything works out fine. Took a little while, but we got our start. Let's get her down in the garden. Let's try to knock this out. As you can see, old Rusty Trusty, she got the job done again. So guys, this is only our second year with our in-ground garden. So this is only the second tilling of this garden. And it's not rocket science, guys. You know, yes, there are tips and tricks that helps you to produce a better garden. But at the end of the day, I have no experience. I'm just winging it based off of what I see. And I have super rocky soil. And I'm amazed that I've been able to produce what I did last year, especially when I'm getting all these big rocks out now. But as you can look, this dirt is pretty dark. As I was tilling it, you know, I was seeing lots of worms um, and things like that and, and other little grubs and bugs. So, you know, this is, this is a good sign for only one year of gardening in this area. You can see when I step, it's so soft, which is a good sign that you want to have. And we haven't done anything major. Um, at the end of the day, hey, all I did was I tilled it and I continuously fed it with my rabbit manure. That's pretty much it. And we did get some organic fertilizer last year that was on sale at the store, but we pretty much just used that about midway through the garden just to give the plants a little extra boost, mostly towards our tomato plants because they were kind of struggling there for a little bit. And come to find out it wasn't a, a nutrient issue, it was more of a heat issue. But nonetheless, guys, I mean, this is in only one year. The dirt is looking very good and dark and rich. So we're really hoping that this year will be a good growing season. So we're gonna get ready to get some seeds started here very soon, but I wanna get this tilled. We'll let this set and let it kinda compact down a little bit 
and let the air get into the soil um, to help with root development when it comes time. And I may or may not hit it one more time before we plant, but I'll just kind of see how it's looking from there. So, but this was gonna wrap up for the first hill for 2021. So this old machine, she did good. I can't say how thankful I am that her grandfather gave this to me. And, and like I said, it's such a, it's almost an honor to be able to use this still on our garden since he's no longer with us. And I'll be able to do this and all the harvest we have for future to come will be because of him and what he left behind for us. And hopefully we can leave for our children as well. So guys, that's gonna wrap everything up for today. Appreciate you coming along. Y'all get out there and go get some seeds and some dirt and you get gardening no matter how big or small it is and come along with us as we share with you our successes and probably plenty of failures, but it's still worth it. So guys, y'all be good. And as always, we'll see you here real soon on the next episode. Y'all be good.